Hello, and my voice cracked doing that yellow. Welcome to episode 52 of Kids Cast. No, I'm not stopping the podcast. Yes, we're going to episode 100. No, we don't know what's going to happen after episode 100. So sorry for missing a day or two. I'm going to explain what happened. This is not going to be a weekly thing because I already feel overwhelmed. Like I missed Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, and it's Wednesday. And I have to talk about four days now and squeeze them into less than 25 minutes. We're going to talk at 10x speed right here. So today's Wednesday, 3rd of April at 3.36 p.m. In Kitsakast, I'm talking about my personal self-development journey and trying to make it in life, whatever that means. Uh, we're going to discuss productivity, habits, startups, and if that's your cup of tea, walk with me, put on your headphones, shoes, and go for a walk. Unless you live in Poland, where it's like the 3rd of April, and today we got snow. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Like, just talking to my mom the other day, and she's like, well, you know, Poland is not that bad. If you actually, you know, just travel in February, the entire February, you just go somewhere, and then March, maybe you go somewhere again. And then when you come back in April, it should be good, right? And today I send her a clip like, no, no, it's gray and it's snowy and it's horrible and I hate it. By the way, I'm standing because I've been sitting all day. So if you're wondering why, why am I wobbly, because I'm on, a, on my standing thingy that just, you know, I'm going to be wobbly. Anyway, so the weather is freaking garbage. Your boy had a haircut today. We talked about the weather. So he was like, hey, how are you? And he's like, you know, like the weather. How are you? <laughs> you know, like the weather. I'm like, cool, we're 90 years old, dude. Congratulations, both me and you. I also have a heel, like this, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're not watching this on YouTube, be nice. And when you finish listening to this on Google Casts or Pocket Google, whatever Android thing, just go on YouTube and be like, hey, this was great. Thank you. Bye. But if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and look at me like, I'm like an angel. Look at me like, ah, just descending from the skies. Ah. The bringer of tangents in here is here. Uh, tangents on tangents. This, this podcast should have been called, called Tangents on Tangents. So anyway, um, I decided not to go to the two meetups I said I'm going to go to because we're probably going to go to Macedonia in May and spend uh, like 20-ish days there. So other conferences I'm going to that I should have mentioned is also I'm not sure if I'm going to go to React India. Basically, I'm not sure if I'm going to go somewhere where I'm going to leave my daughter for more than a couple of hours because I made that mistake on Monday. I was taking my in-laws for uh, to Warsaw because they were flying to Macedonia and I didn't see my daughter the entire day. When I came back home, I saw her and it was very emotional and I'm like, I don't want to go to conferences or to multi-day trips and basically miss a day of their life or of her life. I didn't like it at all. So if I can take her with me and it's somewhere in Europe, we're going to do it. When she grows up, she comes with me in, for overseas conferences, whatever, but it, I just felt so shitty dude that I, I I just decided you know what fuck it I'm not going to I'm not going to take this conference outside let me just kill slack because it's enough shut up slack it's like almost 4 p.m um another breaking news her first teeth br broke I don't know how to say this but my wife texted me hey her first teeth and, and you know like me being an idiot just in the, in the middle of the task when my, when, when my wife said her first teeth has tooth teeth no but it's basically two teeth when you say two <laughs> Fuck me sideways. Uh, yeah, two teeth. They, they popped up and she texts me that. And I'm like, I just imagine I go upstairs and my and my daughter has chompers and she's eating a burger, right? But it turns out she only, like, if you just row uh, like this, you can actually feel them. And they're very, like, you can see little white things. I bawled my eyes out. I cried like a motherfucker. It was such an emotional moment. You're just seeing her first teeth popping up and seeing her growing up into a little human is the most beautiful and overwhelming feeling ever. And there's nothing better in life for real. So... Uh, yeah, let me just take you back a couple of days. So Saturday, I was working. Of course I was working. I don't remember what exactly. Probably on CZ features. That's what I was doing until Saturday. Sunday, touch grass all day. Me and my father-in-law, we cleaned up. The, the weather was actually so beautiful that I picked up the boots. I picked up my vitamin D pills and I was like, enough of you bad boys, right? It's like 13 degrees. Dude, 13 degree weather in Poland means a tank top. Like I'm just going like almost naked doing push push ups in the yard and all that. She's like music cranking, like with my father-in-law, like working on shit in the garage. It felt like summer is around the corner, right? Few days later, there's fucking snow. I picked up the boots and everything. It's and brought back the vitamin D. It's so fucking sad. And I have this light cranked up in my face. Kill me. So Sunday was great. A lot of family time. Then Monday, I woke up at six-ish o'clock. And I spent uh, time driving to take my parents-in-law to Warsaw. Now, we didn't plan this properly because um, I picked them up from the airport instead of paying them a ticket to go from Warsaw to Gdansk because 
um, I wanted to go and test the Model X and the Model Y, but I didn't get to test all the cars. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna also take them back to Warsaw instead of booking them a flight to Warsaw because I will test the cars again. And then two things happened. Tesla opened a fucking salon in Gdansk. So now I can do the car testing here. And second, it, it coincided with Easter. Happy Easter, by the way, if you're the Catholic Easter. Everyone is telling me Happy Easter, but we're celebrating Orthodox Easter, which is in May. So nothing worked in Warsaw, including Tesla. I didn't even schedule a test drive. And now yesterday I tell my wife, why the hell didn't all of us go along with my daughter with train because the car is not very comfortable for like four people and a baby inside and just go to Warsaw for a couple of days by train and just spend some time there. You don't ask because the weather was super beautiful there. It was like 23 degrees. And a couple of days earlier, my sister texted me like, um, uh, trust me, the weather in Macedonia is so hot, you don't want this. And then I go in Warsaw and it's like 23 degrees. And I'm like, I want this. The difference is like, there's a lot of greenery and there's a lot of parks. And in Macedonia, they're trying to cram as many buildings, in building inside a building. So there's a lot of asphalt and it's like a different atmosphere and the humidity is different. But you give me 23, 25 degrees in Warsaw any fucking day. It was beautiful. It was so fucking good. So the highways were perfectly empty. Your boy was driving for the first, I mean, for, I think for the first time I hit like 180 or something just because there was like nothing straight road. And then I see my parents in law just clenching on their seats and I'm like, okay, fine. I'll go back to 140. But it was empty for the first time ever. I haven't seen a truck on the highway for Easter. Z literally zero trucks until we arrived to Warsaw. So we arrived in that city, Chichicho, whatever, Chonyek. Uh, we charged the car annoyingly for an hour. We did another brief stop for McDonald's. And then, oh God, I'm not going to be able to cram everything that's been happening lately in 15 minutes, especially because I love going on tangents on tangents. So we had McDonald's. That was the first McDonald's of the day. Wait, there's more, right? And then I leave them, uh, like we're, we arrive early in Warsaw and I'm like, hey, let me show you the city. And they're like, no, we would rather be 15 hours early to the airport. I'm like, don't worry, we'll be fine. Let's just go and explore Warsaw. So we just literally, I just drive and I tell them, this is that building, this is this building. We stop to take pictures. They're like, they're like it's enough, it's enough pictures. We don't want to stop anymore, but I made them stop more. Then I took them to the airport and then I arrived at the airport and it's like 10% battery. And I'm like, cool, I'll just drive to the Tesla service where all the superchargers are. And I'm gonna charge for like 40 minutes. That should be enough to get to Chichi Chonyek and then to get back to Gdansk, right? Set my car to charge. There's nothing open. I go to technology store, this and that, nothing. Easter dead, dude, nothing around the Tesla service area. It's a random part of the city. I cannot even walk in a park or the city center or whatever. The only open thing was Burger King. So it's not McDonald's. It's way more garbage than McDonald's. Like don't even fight me on this in the comments, please. The only good thing is Burger King has that vegan burger, which actually tastes very much like regular meat, which I don't care that much for, but because I was there, I ate it, whatever, it doesn't matter. I had that and I'm like, dude, this is your second burger of your day, of the day, what are you doing? But I was doing that because I planned a bet. So I said, when I come back from Warsaw, a bet is going to happen. I'm gonna explain the bet in a second. So I spent time there and I'm like, okay, time to go. It's actually like one o'clock, like 1.30 or something like that. I think I'll make it before my daughter's bedtime and I'll see her before she goes to sleep, right? And then I go towards my car and I see hour and a half left to charge. So your boy, the donut, there's like 20 chargers instead of the in in ah, Russian in front of the Tesla service. I chose the one that there was something wrong with it or whatever, and it was charging it very slow. Then I moved the car to the one next to it and it starts charging fast and it's like 40 minutes left. Now it would have been charged if I plugged it, if it worked, whatever. So I'm at my, at the end of the, my nerves with electric cars and with Tesla and everything. And if Tesla has superchargers and is dealing with this shit, what's left for the other cars? Like if you buy an electric Kia, or don't, right? Or whatever. Did you see that Xiaomi made a car? <laughs> Dude, oh, just imagine. You know, I was scrolling through the landing page and I'm like, hmm, actually this is wow. So much technology on the screen and it's very Tesla-ish and whatever. And then they just show the back of the car and I imagine myself, someone sitting behind me in traffic and seeing your car in front and it says Xiaomi. It's like, ah, no, you can't, like it's, no, it's not an Android phone. Hey, phone manufacturers don't make cars. Period. Even if Apple made a car, it would be fucking ridiculous. Even though people already put Apple stickers on their car, so maybe it will make more sense. Anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? Show me. Oh, yeah. So uh, I charged the car and I'm ju I, I just rented an electric scooter and just drove around the Tesla service, just places, back and forth, back and forth. Um, the car got charged and I'm like, okay, driving to Shishonyek. Um, There was more, way more people on the highway because Easter was ending and everyone was going home, I guess. And I arrived to Shishonyek and I'm like, there's definitely gonna be more people here. 
and it was like that like four stalls for charging four of them taken i see five cars i don't even think about the fifth one and i go to the guy and i ask him how much do you have left and he's like what do you mean i'm not even plugged in i'm waiting for someone to leave so i can start charging dude one hour and 30 minutes later probably one hour 45 minutes later just waiting and then charging my car and whatever just seeing all the gas cars park, put gas, move, park, put gas, move, park, put gas, move. It's like it, you want to take the car. <laughs> There's like three more Teslas waiting after me, meaning they would have to wait for four other people to charge in order to get to a stall. And there's like the fifth one came and it's, they literally entered the parking and you could see them like they didn't even stop and hesitate. They just looked to the right and they're probably going on their way to just dump the Tesla in a river or something. Super fucking annoying. I arrived at home at 9 p.m. Now with a gas car, with the amount of traffic that was in the morning, I could have been in Warsaw probably in three and a half fucking hours. Anyway, next time I go to Warsaw, I'll just skip this entire part and I'll just mention the podcast. Went to Warsaw by car, you know how it went, fuck electric cars, period. So that, that was that. Then I came back home and my daughter, thankfully, like she has this new habit of falling asleep and then one hour later waking up, so I saw her. And, you know, just spent five, 10 minutes with her. And that was the end of Monday. Now we have um, Tuesday where I need to start working. And I just get bombarded with Slack and the assistant and like so many freaking things happening at once. That was Tuesday was um, yesterday. So if you're like, what were you doing? Uh, wait, did I want to mention something else here? No parents in law left. And I automated kids guess. When did I do that? I think I did that on uh, Saturday when I realized... No, I did that on Friday probably and I forgot to mention it because because whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, I don't know how long it's been since I recorded this. Doesn't doesn't matter. I decided that I'm done with manually doing the Kitsakast thingy. So I wrote a script that as soon as I'll finish this record, it won't work today because I, of course, didn't finish it, but it's going to work for tomorrow. Uh, when it detects a new mp4 file that's bigger than one gigabyte in my movies folder on disk it will know that is the podcast and it will do all the procedures that i do manually it's going to convert it to an mp3 file it's going to uh, send it to whisper for transcription it's going to summarize it with chat gpt it's going to give me a text file it's going to generate thumbnails it's going to do all the things i'm just missing a couple more things like uploading to adobe enhance and then uh, enhancing the audio and then downloading and then merging it and then adding the intro so it's still not finished because you know your boy i started remember what i started two weeks ago I started join repo. I started come back later, which yesterday I decided just to refund everyone. I'm like, this is so not worth it. There's like seven to eight purchases. And now I have to deal with shipping Electron and, and notarizing apps. And I'm like, this is not worth it. I just gave the people the money back and I unpublished come back later. For now, it's going to continue uh, being a product for myself because I just cannot maintain too many and distribute too many things. It's not a web app. It's a pain in the ass. So I decided to undo that. And of course, I started automating the podcast, didn't finish it, going to continue doing it manually, but I'm going to stop doing a person to uh, stop paying for a person to do that because it's, or do it manually. Then they're all also going to do it manually, which is going to hurt me when I think that someone's spending an hour of their day just doing tasks that can be automated. So I did that on Saturday. Now, if you're like, what were you doing yesterday, kids? Eh? Can you maybe show us somewhere? I'm like, yes, I can show you somewhere in the new uh, Benji Pomodoro review screen. So now... Um, if you're a Benji Pro user, of course, you can go and enable, like in settings features, you can go and enable this uh, tomato, this Pomodoro feature, and you can display it in the sidebar. And now you will actually see a breakdown of what were you working on during each Pomodoro and how did your day look like. So for example, this is what my day looked like yesterday. <laughs> let's, let's read item one. Started working on CZ landing page, but I decided that I need to look at the history. And this was like, for one minute, I just contemplated. Let me just, so you, so you don't re read shit and focus on me when I'm talking. Um, just for a second, I had a thought like, enough with coding random shit in the morning. Even though I said, I'm gonna code two hours in the morning just to get in the habit of working again. And, I want to tap myself on the back because if you remember a while ago, I had a lot of trouble with actually having a full work day, especially before starting the podcast. I was like, ah, oh, maybe not going to work today. Maybe not going to work the full day and whatever. Now, at least my day has like a copy paste structure that I follow every day. And that's what I told you when um, just I need to establish the habit that I start my work day around eight o'clock. And then in the first two hours I code and I need to code on random shit for a while until I decide, okay, now I need to code on plan shit. Because if I decide I'm going to code every day and it's going to be according to my goals, it's going to last for two days and then I won't like it and I'll bail out on it. But now when it's a habit, I decided, okay, what do I need to work on that's connected to my goals? I need to improve the CZ landing page because it doesn't sell it enough and the features are not good. I did that for two seconds and I'm like, 
I want to see a review of my day and know how productive I was and where I was sitting, where I was standing, how many breaks I took and blah, blah, blah. And I started building this screen. So I spent my first Pomodoro building this screen. Then I took a break for six minutes and breaks are something that you save. After you save a Pomodoro, a break starts. So that's like the save thing. And after I click end on the break, like if I don't start another Pomodoro, that's the blank space. So here, like am I Taylor Swift? Because I got a blank space, baby. And it was seven minutes. So that's already way too much of a break between two Pomodoros. Then we have another Pomodoro when I continued uh, working on this screen. Then we had another break, six minutes and two minutes. And then another Pomodoro of 45 minutes where I continued working on this because there was no podcast to upload. And then let's just read the items. Check Slack, talk to Zico about PRs, to emoji, like the to emoji got broken. I don't even want to explain to you what to emoji is. He opened a PR to help me with a mobile app, whatever I needed to look at that. Investigate why Benji is broken. I thought it was broken. It turns out during the deployment for the new screen, my Benji was broken and I checked missive. So it was basically a lost Pomodoro. I want to show more information here, like whether it's productive, not productive and whatever. Uh, but this was not productive. The first ones were, they were totally not connected with my goals of making more money and, and launching CZ and AppSumo and whatever. But they helped me because now I'll be able to review this screen every day. So this was useful, but not connected to my goals. And I'm very often I switch between the two. I'm like, yeah, I know this is not connected to my goals, but it's super useful for me. I don't even care if users like it. Even though I posted this on Twitter and people are like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Love it. And they also like the design. So I guess that's great. Um, so we have more blank space here, like 11 minutes and 20 minutes, uh, two minutes. And then we had a meeting with the assistant and I felt like, oh, I don't want to be in this. And I feel like, you know, I'm already starting on Tuesday. I want to look at my tasks. I don't want to talk here. So we cut that short. Then I just browsed Slack and email. I answered one email. I cleaned up the emails. I cleaned up my GitHub notifications. I was texting on my phone because I keep making the mistake of keeping my phone on my desk. Went to the kitchen because as soon as I had the meeting with the assistant and I'm like, I don't know, like when I get that feeling of, I don't know how to untangle myself and realizing that even this assistant won't help me untangle and I realize that he's not doing the right things all the time. Like the first thought that I have is just go and have some food. Like even though my parents-in-law left, they left us with the bakery open. The bread is still not finished. So I just went upstairs, even though I had a, uh, I had a fast started and I was supposed to not eat until 1.30. I just went upstairs and I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to eat something. So there's a couple of things that happened here. Before I went to Warsaw, um, I actually texted Zico and I asked him, hey, would you be fine if, um, because I got so tired of my, like if I show you my weight chart, which is not even updated, we're seeing the uptick again. Here it is, you know, like we've seen this before. Like we go a long way down, then we have a little uptick, then down, uptick, then down, 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 down uptick, and now we're climbing up again. So we're like 96.3. So I just cannot move past this threshold of like, I reach 92 point something and then I cannot go down. So a couple of days and I'm not even wondering why, because why I'm eating like garbage, especially when my parents-in-law were here. Like I eat fine most of the day and then at night I'll be like, ooh, let's make some sandwiches and let's eat garlic bread and whatever. And they just text Zico, would you be fine if we make a bet that if I don't reach my fitness goals by whatever date, um, I send you money and if I don't reach my fitness goals, you're not going to send me the money back. And of course, no sane person will say no to free money. So this is, um, so I told him that um, the day before I went to Warsaw and I'm like, but we're going to start it after I come back for Warsaw because now road trips to Warsaw remind me of how many fast food restaurants can I hit on the way. And then I didn't mention that. And on the way from Warsaw, I took, I stopped at McDonald's just to get coffee. And I'm like, well, you know, when in Rome, when in McDonald's, you know, they just, you know, I go on that tablet, I'm like coffee, water, that's it. And I'm like coffee in the car, it's going to be hot. How do you know what's cold? Fries? <laughs> Not really cold. So I was driving and eating McDonald's. So that was my third burger and fries of the day. And I come back home and my wife's like, you're probably tired from the trip. And thank you for taking my parents and driving for 10 hours, even though airplanes exist and you could have worked this day. You donut, it's no one's fault. I offered this to people and I decided I'm going to drive them there and back. I'm never doing it again because I would rather pay the money for the flight than actually to drive and waste an entire work day. So I had one of my protein ice creams at night and I'm like, I'm going to fast until tomorrow. And the next day I get these thoughts of bread and whatever. And I go to the kitchen, but oh, fuck me, I'm going on too many tangents, but this is connected. Uh, I called a friend, I called Martin, my friend, to basically gloat because um, he's on petrol, petrol kid, whatever. He loves petrol cars. He laughs at electric cars. So I call him on, on video call after a long time just to show him, you know, me waiting in line to charge my car. And he dies laughing and he's wearing a shirt that says car club, you know, just rubbing it in and everything. And we talk about my weight adventures and him listening to Kitsakast and seeing the struggles that I have. And he said a sentence and I'm like, congratulations, dude, you're Oprah. 
congratulations, you're Michelle Obama. Congratulations, you're Brene Brown with the sentence that you said, because it's freaking life-changing and it stopped me from eating that bread the next day. He said something, uh, I, I told him, you know what, I'm gonna have a bet with Zico and I'm gonna send him a thousand euros, so I don't eat this and that. And he's like, you're just trying, like eating bad is just consequences. You keep trying to fix the consequences instead of fixing the root cause of those consequences. I'm like, it was so nice to meet you, Oprah. Because that's the shit that they use, you know, in the self-help books and whatever. But just this sentence, I need to drill it and tattoo it somewhere. Um, you're fixing the consequences, you're not fixing the root cause. So even if I give the Zico the money and the bet and the this and that, it's just like, it's going to mitigate them for a while and I might lose weight. But until I find the root cause, which is like harder to find, because it's more complex, you need therapy and you need to do your homework and blah, blah, blah. And you to read and just to be with your thoughts and to meditate. Like I know all the things I need to do. But to me, the easiest thing was like, ah, oh, let's just have a bet with someone. And the next day, I, I, you know, I just go and, and take that bread and just take it in my hands. And I'm like, this is even stale. It's not even tasty. You're not hungry. You said you're going to finish that fast. So I go downstairs and I send Zico. Let me see if there's some private fucking information there. I don't want to, you know, reveal any private information. So, yeah, here's the proof. Like a thousand euros saying conditions. 16 hour fast every day. One cheat meal per week, which I already had three burgers this week. Uh, no bread, 10k steps every day unless I'm injured and sick. I don't know how I'll do fucking 10k steps today. It's snowing, the weather is so fucking annoying, but I'll find a way and I'll have to do 10k steps and three strength trainings per week. How many do I have this week? Zero. So this is until June 1st and it includes the period of Zico visiting me here in this house and me taking him to nice food places and fast food and everything, just drooling because he keeps my thousand euros now. I mean, I can use Balkan methods to extract those thousand euros back for, from him, but that's not the point. I think, you know, yesterday I was, I was disciplined and I think I'm going to do this. Definitely. It's going to like, I've done so many challenges. If you remember in the beginning, January, I've done this for a very long time. I can't do this. The problem is what do we do afterwards? I got to fix the root cause and not fix the, the consequences. So uh, a few minutes left. Let me just keep showing you the Pomodoros because I think of something that I wanted um, to talk about. So I mentioned the bet on Zico. Um, I decided, as, as I said, I decided to focus on my financial goals and get my shit together. So I started working on finances a bit more and realized that currently what I'm doing, paying Athena 3000 euros for an assistant doesn't align with my goals at all because the assistant doesn't bring me any revenue and just a couple of like a week working with this new assistant. I'm like, no, this is not going to work there. Like I need a sharp dude. I need someone who's like super sharp and immediate. Like I can immediately notice if like I get it. Some people need training and blah, blah, blah. But I, I need really, really, really like a super specialized person. They can just jump into my life and just help me left and right to feel like, okay, they're worth paying this amount of money. So I'm not going to go without an assistant because I already spent so much time on these procedures and whatever, but I'm going to post an ad finding someone from Poland locally, maximum paying like 1K for this assistant for a full-time job. And um, I'm going to try to find that because this is not just doesn't financially align with my goals. I decided to stop being reckless with my money because I was planning, oh, if I pay, assist, pay Athena, you know, 3K, it's just going to double in the amount of money and like looking back, I've already spent like 9K on them and nothing has doubled. The only thing that happened is I'm more nervous and I spent 9K on something that doesn't bring me back, you know, uh, any revenue. So there's one minute left. So I got to wrap up in case this actually ends. Like I have way more things to, to talk about. Check the new Pomodoro feature in Benji and check like Benji overall. We're going to talk about today and yesterday and a bunch of other things that I want to show you here in Kitsikas tomorrow, which hopefully is going to be automated. So thank you for watching. Do your homework in the description and I'll see you donuts in the next one. Bye-bye.